Hi guys. So, yeah, if you may have noticed, we haven't um, uploaded many videos. Uh, things kind of didn't go the way anybody expected. Which, you know, kind of happens in life. So, I thought I'd just do um, a little video updating. I ended up having to get a full-time job, which made doing anything difficult by the time I was, I would get home from work and then I would deal with the livestock and the horses, you know, um, the dogs. And over time, I started um, feeling really bad, uh, lightheaded, uh, muscle weakness, fatigue, and I mean just from the time I got up in, even in the middle of the night, I would wake up not feeling well at all. It got to the point where I ended up, one day, I just said, dog sneezing. One day I said, okay, this is enough. I need to find out what's going on. I went to a walk-in clinic and um because at first i thought i thought it was diabetic uh, a lot of my symptoms matched type 2 diabetes my diet sucks sucked still sucks whatever um i know how i'm supposed to be eating and i don't so that's on me but i went in and i'm like you know this is what's going on can you guys check my a1c and she said, yeah, do you mind if we run other tests as well? And I said, okay, that's fine. Well, my A1C came back perfect. My PTH levels, which is the um, parathyroid hormone level, the max it should be is 65. Mine was at 400 and my calcium levels were at 13 over 13 percent and normal is about 12 up at the top of normal is about 12 so that doesn't sound like it's really high the problem is it the parathyroid hormones you have four of them um, they help control the calcium levels in your body and when they're out of control and your calcium is out of control it costs it causes a lot of health issues and I actually had medical personnel asking me how are you still standing because 404 is extremely high um, they said usually by then people have had strokes, they've had um, pacemakers implanted, and but I was still moving around, I was still working full time, and my job was um, there. And I would still loading bales of hay for customers and so forth. So I went through a lot of testing um, and the end result was this surgery back in September. They removed a tumor about the size of a lemon that had started in my thyroid and I think he said he removed over 50% because obviously I was referred to an ENT um, doctor to take care of that. 
the another tumor was next to that and it was about the size they thought it was the size of a grape and it turned out to be larger but um, they ended up having to take out two of the four parathyroid hormone or parathyroid glands they're normally about the size of a grain of rice so even a tiny tumor can destroy them and after that surgery was done, it was a day surgery, I went back, well first for the initial recheck, and then I went back, I think it was a month later, to, I had to get blood work done and they had to test my levels again. Um, my parathyroid level was at 95. So it was going back up again, but my calcium levels were fine. My vitamin D levels were low. So I had to start on vitamin D supplements. This is something that's quite difficult for me because I am sensitive to a lot of ingredients. Surgery itself was an adventure because every single thing they used had to be combed over for the ingredients. Um, obviously I lived. Yay. Uh, after that, I took so much vitamin D, you know, that the doctor told me to take. And, um, when I went back for recheck, it's, it was higher, but it was still low. So, we had to, um, he gave me a prescription for vitamin D, which I didn't think about checking ingredients. I thought, oh, you guys know that I can't have this stuff, so you won't, yeah. They prescribed something I couldn't have. And I ended up quite sick from that. And I also discovered that the capsules themselves went against our personal beliefs, or mine, I should say. And I, yeah, I couldn't take them. They just made me quite sick. So, that went out the window and I just ended up having to take like triple the dose of the vitamin D I was taking to begin with. And then, trying to remember the order that things happened. After that, I, he said that something else was going on because they were looking at a lump that I had noticed behind my left ear. So they did a CAT scan of the ear and in the process they found out I had a tumor in my sinuses. So I had a tumor in my sinus and I had a tumor behind my ear which required another surgery, which um, I'm still healing from here. This was just less than two weeks ago, so the side of my face and neck are still swollen. That tumor ended up being bigger than they expected. And this tumor, um, he said he didn't, he said he's been doing sinus surgery for 16 years and has no idea what he pulled out of my sinuses. We are still waiting on the test results for that. He doesn't believe it's anything ominous, but, you know, testing just in case. And I mentioned to him that after the first surgery, my heart started going a little wacky. Um, so he, he sent me to another doctor to clear me for this, this surgery. And he did an EKG that was like 10 seconds, if that. They pretty much, it took longer to put the things on me. And then she turned the machine on and then turned it right back off again. And it spit out this piece of paper about that why. And I'm like, that's it? But they claim that it's accurate. Well, unfortunately, it wasn't. 
So in the second surgery, I started throwing, um, they said PVCs. My heart, which had started acting up after the first surgery, went a little bananas during the second surgery. And then it was continued into the recovery room. So my daughter, who was with me during the second surgery, took a picture of the readout for my primary care physician. And seriously, can't we just have one doctor? I am now up to three doctors. Because now, on the 7th, I have to go see a cardiologist to find out what's going on with my heart. And my ENT and I are he calls me his trouble patient and I told him I don't want to see him anymore because every time I see him he gives me more bad news. So we all heard a noise, all four dogs and I turned to look. Um, so I went to see the ENT who is the one who referred me to a cardiologist but the blood work that came back on that said um, my sodium levels were high, which I'm not surprised they were. I was not drinking much water at that point. And I was eating a lot of um, organic corn chips because I can't have non-organic. And so I'm not surprised my sodium levels were high because I was eating them like candy. And yes, I know I'm a bad girl. So, Along with that, my chloride levels were high. And now the chloride levels being high and the sodium, not the sodium, sorry, and the vitamin D levels being low is not a good sign. And further testing is required for that. Um, but it usually means that something like the liver or the kidneys are not functioning quite right. So this has been um, a roller coaster ride, really, since last June. It has just been a little crazy. And I'm not sure where we're going to end up, but part of. Oh, and I should say, all of this became bad enough that I had to quit my job. I couldn't do it anymore. Um, there were some other issues with it as well, but the health was a good portion of it. Um, on the plus side, that means I can work more on our little homestead to be and my crochet and other things. I don't like to not have my hands busy, so I, I, I usually need to be doing something with my hands. But as of right now, that's where we're at. Since last June, I have had a total of four tumors above my shoulders removed, which does not bode well for the rest of my body. Um, so obviously eating habits have to change massively. I am a junk food jumpy, junk, jumpy, junkie, junkie, junkie. Um, and what's bad is that I am an herbalist. I, I have done years of herbal training and I know what I should be eating. I, I and I'm just, I'm a hypocrite. Okay. I, I just love junk food. I love carbs and all of that has to go away um, because I can either basically eat myself to death or improve my health. There really isn't much of an option other than that. So and that's pretty much it. Just an update. Um, Health-wise, I don't know where we're going to end up. I don't know how it's going to affect things. I don't know 
I don't know anything because I, I, you know, even I'd need a crystal ball to read the future. But I'm going to work on me and the homestead. Uh, right now I'm under a no lifting order because of that. Um, I have a few more days it should be lifted. I go get rechecked on the 7th after the cardiology appointment. So it could be interesting. It could be interesting. And we'll see. That's also hopefully when I'll find out what it was he took um, out of my face. Because he said, he said he's been doing this for 16 years. And when he pulled that out of my nostril, they didn't cut in, they went through the nose. He, he said he literally looked at my unconscious body and said, thanks a lot. Because, yeah, as I said, I'm his difficult patient. Um, but I'm, I, it's kind of like a downhill roll right now because every time I go in, something else is wrong. But I do find it weird that my heart was okay until the first surgery and then got worse after the second surgery. So I am wondering if something was in there that shouldn't have been in there. But I don't know. We'll find out what's going on with that. So that's the update. Um, yeah, just keep me in your prayers, good thoughts, whatever, if, you, if you'd if you want to. I mean, obviously I can't order you to, but I'd appreciate it. And you'll definitely see more videos now because I have no idea if I can ever go back to work at this point. Especially with the heart issue and not knowing what was growing up in my nostrils. Hey, on the plus side though, I can breathe. So, you guys have a great day. Bye.